Do you have a piece like this that's been previously painted but you no longer like the color? Not to worry, you can still paint it with all-in-one paint and I'm gonna show you how to prep it to get ready, even if you don't know what the original paint was. First thing we're gonna do is address any areas where the paint is chipped, loose, nicked, or just otherwise marred. We're just gonna use a medium grit sandpaper and just smooth it out, remove anything that wants to come loose, let it come loose and get a nice smooth surface to start with. You don't necessarily have to go down to bare wood. It's okay if you don't, we just need a good smooth surface and make sure there's nothing loose remaining. Now that we've got all the loose and peeling paint addressed, we're gonna start with cleaning. Just work one little section here at a time. Now I'm gonna take a green scrubby, just the back of a very dirty kitchen sponge here, and start scrubbing. We're just trying to break up any grease and grime, especially if this piece might have been previously painted with chalk paint. That means there's likely a wax on it. I wanna make sure I get that all thoroughly removed. I'm not working overly hard, but I am giving it a good start. I'm gonna take a clean, dry cloth and just wipe away what I've just done. Now, you may or may not start to see some differences in the surface, and either way, that's okay. What we're looking for is a, a difference in feel. We want it to feel like we've removed any grease or grime, any wax, any furniture polish, anything that's built up on the piece. Now, depending on how good that old paint is holding on, you may very well see some paint removal. It's not gonna hurt anything, and we definitely got some paint removal because I can't imagine this thing was that dirty. This same process would be used regardless of what the original paint was, whether it's oil-based, chalk paint, all-in-one paint that you previously painted, latex paint, anything like that, the process is gonna be the exact same. Now that we've got the piece good and clean, we're gonna give it a feel and just see if we feel resistance to our hand. You hear that? I definitely feel a resistance. My hand's not going whoosh but I also wanna make sure that I don't feel a lot of gummy texture. So if that's the case, then that's the old paint breaking down. And in that instance, you might need to give it a little sand just to remove that stickiness feeling. But if not, then you're good to go and we're ready to paint. Like and follow for more great DIY tips.